Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to LA Noir. Um, it is time again. A walk in Elysian fields. Here we go, baby boys and baby girls. And guess what? I switched to a PS4 controller just because I could. What the heck is this? What the heck? Buddy likes birds. Get it. Buddy likes birds. Holy. House fire. Bad one. At least four Vicks. Get out there and find out what you can. The address is 650 North Hobart. Yes, Captain. You got a cap. Oh my God. The PS4 controller literally feels so much better in my hand don't get me wrong i love the way the ps5 controller feels that controller is a thick boy and uh that controller is a big boy right cole what the hell that controller is a big boy i love the way the ps5 controller feels in my hand i do Can you but this one I love the PS5, the PS4 controller just a wee bit more. Just a wee bit. Are we having a conversation, Big? What the? Heck? Okay, fuck it. Forget I. I'm teasing you, Herschel. Tell me about it. Well, the new housing development burnt to the ground last night. GIs are ready to move in this weekend. Developers gonna have some very angry customers. That's crazy. Here we go. House fire. 11.42 a.m. Whoa. That's kind of toysy. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what's going on here. You guys better see this. I hope you have strong stomachs. Holy. I don't think I have a strong stomach. I just drank. And ginger ale because my stomach wasn't oh my god Morelli Mike we recovered a picture of the family okay anything else to be honest I just got here so best you talk to Lynch he's the expert doesn't make any sense why aren't they scattered around like the rest of the debris I think they've been moved Ooh. I think someone moved them after the explosion and before the fire can you explain that, please? Yeah, a little I'm bit. I'm almost positive the cause of death is asphyxiation due to gas inhalation. Look at the parts of their bodies that aren't scorched. The coloring around the fingertips is typical. They wouldn't have felt a thing. I think the fire damage is post-mortem. I think someone moved them into this room after the explosion. It still doesn't make any sense. Why would you run <laughs> into a burning building? That's crazy. doing the prayer effect is from the fire the muscles and tendons contract that looks insane all right and here's a family photo you ever think about how many people have died in this world and how big heaven would have to be to accommodate them bigs no i have not Find anything interesting show some respect it's our boy I think he watches the fires. I think the Sawyer fire went wrong. So what about the guy we have in jail, Phelps? We got the wrong guy. That doesn't explain why he ran into a burning building. What would make anyone do that? Guilt. For the fire? For his mistake. This guy wants to burn houses, not families. He expects the houses to be empty. They're trying to redeem himself. That's... Probably thought they'd be happier together. That's crazy. You are one very disturbed individual, Phelps. I know you had it rough lately, but you should start to compartmentalize your thoughts. You could be right. Can you come up with an alternative explanation? I'm sure, it's the same guy. Are you telling me that some son of a bitch murdered these people, the whole family, and arranged them here like Cupid dolls? Might fit, Cole, but I don't think we could ever prove it. There's very little evidence. Oh my. Okay, and that. Then... That jumps. <laughs> Look at him book it. Albert, check out the hot water system. Make sure we're dealing with the same MO. Sure, Phelps. I'll get back to you. 
Leave the rest to us, Cole. You better find out what's eating big. Let's go get Big Yeller. So something finally got to you. You want my help, pretty boy? You got it. You keep riding me and you won't be pretty much longer. We can get this guy, Herschel. You think you've seen everything, Phelps? I was with the 2nd Marines in Fella Wood. The things that went on in that farmhouse. My own guys on fire screaming for a way out. Holy. That hits different. You're not going to get this guy. There's going to be no photos and no citations. We're gonna kill this miserable fuck. End of story. You get this? Holy. That hits different. You remember the list from the travel agent? Sure. The Morellis were winners too. Their name was on that list. Right. We should take a look around, work the names, see what they mean. I'll go across the street. Okay, I'll try to decide. That's crazy. I haven't done this for years. All right. Well, you first, like a fireman, son. go to intuition. So there is still show all clues. So um, I still want to do this real quick. So we're gonna look at literally all the clues before we head over there. There's a newspaper over here. Housing development burns. How did you get my number, Ira? At first, I didn't understand you. But now I do. I'd like you to come back to the clinic. I'm helping other people now, doctor. I think you are confused. You haven't been to the clinic for weeks. I'm not confused anymore, doctor. I'm helping people be together. This world is only temporary. We'll all be happier in heaven. Why don't you tell me where you are and I can come to you? I think the fire should end now. They have served their purpose. Oh, the fires are only beginning, Doctor. Holy. After the fires, everything will be beautiful and clean. Everything will be erased. The world will be fresh and new. I can see my purpose now, Doctor. And you helped me to find it. That's crazy. That's crazy. All right, let's look for the other clue. So there's another one back here, which is the firebox. Looks like the same model. Original Varley service, that one. Okay, we got one more clue over here someplace. Might be in this dude's yard. Let me see. Footprints. Someone was keeping watch. Looks like they were here for quite a while. Rand looks distinctive. Whoever he was, he was wearing boondockers. I would know that imprint anywhere. That's crazy. All right, let's canvas this dude. LAPD. Can you tell me anything about the fire next door? Terrible luck. Imagine after having won that weekend away. What's your name, sir? Foreman. Dudley Foreman. Okay. Morelli Fire Witness Report. Did you see or hear anything that might have... Look, we were asleep when we heard the explosion. You're going to tell me what you know, buddy. You didn't like Morelli, did you? Some neighbors you get along with, some you don't. Guess they should have sold up. What do you mean? They're knocking down all these old houses and building a new subdivision for GIs. Morelli was being difficult. Okay, suspicious activity. Did you see anyone hanging around the Morelli's home prior to the explosion? Nope. Can't say as I was looking out, though. Buddy, tell me the truth. Sure, Mr. Foreman. There are signs of someone hanging around over there by the fence. Hey, now that you come to think of it, there was a guy. Kind of tall. Skinny, though. Anything else? Orange lumber jacket, a beat-up hat, and no hair. 
I thought he was the pest exterminator guy who was working around here the last few days. But that guy had hair. Okay. Planned a you demolition. Said knocking these houses down? Elysian Fields. You must know them. They're billboards. That Monroe character beaming down at you. We've had an offer for the house. Did the Morellis want to sell? I don't know. Yes, you do. Whatever you thought of Morelli, his whole family is dead. They couldn't have all deserved that. I want you to help me here, Foreman. Morelli was pig-headed. He built the house himself. He didn't want to sell. Stubborn fool was ruining it for all of us. Okay. Promotional travel contest. You said the Morellis had won a weekend away. To Catalina Island? Yeah, that's right. First thing I thought after the explosion was, thank goodness they was away. But then I find out they were still in there. Who was running the competition? What? I don't know. You didn't enter yourself? I'd already agreed to sell. The competition was an incentive for those who were still thinking about it. That sounds about right. Thanks for your time, Mr. Foreman. Sure. Hey, if you're interested, I have one of those competition flyers in the kitchen. I could get it for you if you like. That would be great. Any luck, Cole? A couple of things. What did you pick up? An older piece of paper. Looks complicated. Japanese call it origami. Can I take a look? Sure. Paper crane. There's a legend about them. You fold 1,000 of these and you get a wish. Investigate further. Let's see. Origami crane. Hey, don't break it. I'm not. I'm unfolding it. Looks like a waybill or a flyer. For what? That's crazy. For Elysian Fields developments. That's crazy. Oh, I see you already have one. Same thing. A little bit different format. When did the flyer arrive in your mailbox? They've been arriving for weeks. This one was in the mailbox when I got home from work yesterday afternoon. That's crazy. All right, let's go use the cop cop phone. So he's a runner, he's a track there? star. I need an address for a property. Elysian Fields Developments. One moment, detective. Haven't we been to Elysian Fields? The address is 748 North Oxford Avenue, Wilshire. Anything else? Messages, please. If you have a message, contact Captain McKelty immediately. Thanks. Can you put me through, operator? Of course. Here you are. Commander? We're about to go and visit Elysian Fields Developments. You're about to do what? Leland Monroe? He's a personal friend of the mayor and the chief. Are you out of your mind? Yes. I'm warning you, Phelps. Commander, we have a line of inquiry. You have something you bring it to me. You're hanging by a thread, Phelps. Do you understand? Yes, sir. How about you stop telling me what to do and shut your stupid ass up? Makes sense. It's a dead end. We're still gonna go there. We should check out Rancho Escondido. You know the place? Sure. The corner of Fountain and Wilton. Let's go. Hmm. Should we go there first? I'm thinking about it. Hmm. We go there. We see what's up. You're behind the wheel. I'm thinking we just go straight to Elysian, honestly. Because I have no problem putting Leland Monroe behind bars. It's a shame about Jeff. The arson desk has been trying to nail that son of a bitch for years. He's still in custody, Herschel. Want to bet? They'll have kicked him loose already. Can't hold him for misdemeanor cigarettes and matches. That's true, but, I mean, at the same time, he does kind of like fire. There's more religion in the end of a nightstick than in a hundred cathedrals. What the hell? 
I'm not going to tell you again, sir. Don't tell me when and how I can come and go on my own property. It is not This is safe, America, dickhead. Sir. Now step back or I'll lock you up for Smart a play. son of a bitch. Ooh. You sorry sack. That's done it for I didn't know we were going to do an entire street fight. Back in blue. Buddy, I didn't know we were playing Street Fighter. I thought it was L.A. Noir. This is twazy. I'll give you some too, fat ass. Pick that. Come here, boy. Nice big uppercut to you. That's crazy. Good thing you showed up when you did, detectives. Those folks were baying for blood. Okay, then. Let's see if there's anything else to take a look at. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and use the intuition here to show all clues. So there are three clues. A brick loose. Further investigate. Let's see what's going on here. Mortar is like dust. Is that normal in a fire? I'd expect some shrinkage in the heat, but it looks like the cement barely adhered to the brick. Doesn't appear to be any wall ties either. This thing looks like it was built on the cheap. That's crazy. Oh. That's insane. If we're paying a visit to Alicia and ruining my career, Let's bite the bullet and get out of here. <laughs> Is there any other clues to see here? Let's see. Nope, there are none to see. All right, we bite the bullet and go to Elysian Fields. We are so fired. Like, it's literally destiny for us to get fired from this job. But, like, what else can we do, you know? We are Detective Cole Phelps, all right? And we do things differently than the rest of the police station. What we do is we fight for justice, and you get your fat ass in the driver's seat now. You can drive. All right, let's go. I like how the sign says Hollywood Land. Was that what it was called in the 1940s? Or did they just, like, do that? Also, if it was called that in the 1940s, why did they, why did they change it? I don't know, I guess maybe Hollywood Land was 260s for them. Where the hell is Leland? Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD, to see Leland Monroe. You have an appointment? With a police lady. We don't need an appointment. Can I tell him what it's about? It's an official investigation. There are two police officers here to see Mr. Monroe. Send them through. Good. We won't have any That's problems. Thank you. Thanks, ma'am. I was hoping we wouldn't have any issues. Now, where the hell is Leland? Gentlemen. I would like to speak to Mr. Monroe. I'm afraid it's impossible. Really? Mr. Monroe's schedule is with police in his office. Cut to the chase, sister. Is he in? I'm not at liberty to reveal that, officer. So he hired you for your intelligence? <laughs> I find that offensive. You have every right to. This is getting us nowhere, miss. Encino. Would you like us to return with a warrant? That won't be necessary, gentlemen. Come into my office. Yeah, you better let us into your office, you dickhead. You have the biggest office I've ever seen. Cigars. Drink, boys. Sure, I'll have a shack. Biggs. This is the biggest office I've ever been in. Hold on, is there anything else to look at? Let me see. I've been a case this dude's entire office. I don't think there is. We're investigating a series of domestic fires, Mr. Monroe. Terrible, boys. How can I help? You can answer some questions, dickhead. Elysian Fields and Suburban Redevelopment Fund flyers keep turning up in the vicinity of the fires. They're turning up all over town, boys. Can you imagine the current demand for housing? So that's your explanation, Mr. Monroe? A coincidence? Explanation? Why, what's to explain? I advertise on radio and billboards to buyers, and I advertise to sellers using Weber. Buddy, open your eyes and tell the truth. We found a family burnt out in their home. 
Another house burned to the ground. Another Elysian Fields flyer. Our information is that they didn't want to sell. Are you saying that's something to do with me? Is that your point? Yes. It is. Every time we find a family barbecue, we find one of your flyers. Is that good advertising? Promotional travel contest. What do you know about a competition for families to win free vacations to Catalina Island? My company runs many promotions. I'm, I'm not familiar with that one. You lie. Level with me, Mr. Monroe. You know all about the vacation offers. You can believe whatever you like, son. You're missing the vital ingredient called proof. Um, your flyers are everywhere, home dog. Your flyers are literally everywhere. Your face is all over the flyers, Mr. Monroe. You know about the prizes, and you're aware that they get given to holdouts. My face is the brand. It's on all our advertising. Did you know that the mayor and the chief of police are part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Do you want to accuse them of murder as well? Uh, kind of. We got a huckster. Our Legion feels out with Leland Monroe when discussing his developments or advertising campaign. I can't believe that's actually an achievement. What were they doing? Local land acquisitions. They made offers to buy houses in areas where fires have been reported. <laughs> Are you suggesting that I'm burning people out of their homes so that I can sell them new ones? What happens to your plans if a family like the Morellis refuses to sell? We work around them. Business finds a way. That's the American way. No, the American way is you going to jail. Come on, Mr. Monroe. You expect me to believe that you would build a new development with one of those old piles smack bang in the center of it? Progress is an inexorable process, detective. Those who choose to stand in defiance are usually confined to the waste basket of history. To answer your question, yes, we would build around them if we had to. Most people see sense. Rancho, whatever that word is, fire. What's Elysian Fields' involvement in Rancho Escondido? It's one of our latest housing developments. It was due to open on the weekend, or was, before the unfortunate conflagration. It met with building code regulations? Absolutely. Only the best for our returning heroes. Are you always lying? Lying, bro. There's something out of kilter about that development. Son, I've had enough of you and your fidgety friend. There's no way in hell you can prove that my materials were inferior. Your cement's made out of sandpaper, Holmes. Like, come on, dude. I'm no expert, but I think we'll find that the bricks being used on those houses are undersized and the mortar is faulty. And there's no wall ties connecting the masonry to the frame. Every building is built to a budget, boy. But you said your building is the best. Those buildings were inspected and fully insured by California Fire. Investment of that magnitude demands it. Do you think the Fed vouched for the buildings without examining them? The arsonist, do you have any suspects? We aren't at liberty to say. I didn't think so. The contractors I used to wait on. I don't suppose there could be any of them. I have a list of their names if it would be of any help. That would be very helpful, Mr. Monroe. Glad to hear it. I'm always happy to help the LAPD. Can you shut up and just show us? My secretary will provide you with that list. Did you know that I'm on the board of the police pension fund? Yeah, we did. Thanks for reminding us, jackass. Glad to be of help, officer. What's the story? Any of these names ring a bell? Well, it's Herbert Chapman. Herbert Chapman is on this list. Find the phone. We need to know where we're at with Chapman. All right. Oh. Let's see if I can find a cellular device. Well, damn. He locked his office with immediate effect. Well, he knew I was going to come back and try to arrest him. Man locked his office with immediate effect. Your boss is a fine man. You need your phone, lady. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? 
Can you check whether we are still holding a Herbert Chapman? Let me find out for you. He was released this morning, Detective. Damn. Damn. I'm sorry, Detective. It's not your fault. Can you give me a last known address and put out an APB on the guy? I'll get back to you, Detective. APB will go out over KGPL shortly. Thanks for your help. That's crazy. That is actually crazy. I love the shade till the minute I win a beautiful face to write love to me in it. Give me your heart and baby I'll bin it. Cause I always hear the things I love. Some Buy me a drink, Cole. No, you're an ass for old time's sake. Not even for that. You're not gonna ask me why I'm here. I wouldn't give you the pleasure. So get around. You sold me out, jackass. She's in fine voice this evening. I wonder how the commander would feel Save about threats for someone who cares about the boy. You're breaking my heart, Cole. You know how I feel about you. Stay away from Elysian Fields. I should have known that you were playing errand boy. You and your doofus partner. You have been warned. Thanks for your cooperation, officer. I love you. Stay away. You have no idea the type of people that are involved in that company. I have a pretty good idea, Roy. The same kind of people that sent you here. Your investigation is finished. Homicide will be taking over from here. I've heard we've had a spate of grass fires in the hills that you and that hunchback might be able to handle. Thanks for the drink, Cole. I want to kick him in the balls so bad. Elsa's apartment, 8.45 p.m. Did you get the message about Monroe? Yeah. Earl delivered it. You? You killed him. He started making noises about my pension. Sorry about that, Herschel. I didn't mean to drag you into this. Say, Mr. Phillips, Monroe was an ass for you. And so was Earl. And so was McKelty when it's all said and done. KGBL calling car 11K. 11K. 11K, go ahead. 11K, the last known address of suspect Herbert Chapman is 650 North Kingsley Drive in Wilshire. Roger that, KGPL. 11K en route. That's where Let's we're going. Let's go pick him up. You fought at Sugarloaf, didn't you? I did. But I don't like to talk about it. You come across a guy called Jack... You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Yes, I got out just to do that. You know Jack Kelso? He's an insurance investigator over at California Fire and Life. Our paths cross from time to time. For some reason, seeing you makes me think of him. Has, uh... Jack spoken to you about his experiences on Sugarloaf or the rest of the campaign? Jack keeps stung just like you do. I know what it feels like to get back from conflict. You gotta respect that. We're looking for Herbert Chapman. I'm looking for him, too. I need him to move his car so I can mow the lawn. <laughs> He's definitely not here. I've been banging on his door off and on for a couple of hours. Yeah, he's out somewhere. Is there some kind Let's of problem? Let's take a look at the car. Let's take a look at this buddy's car. Let's see what he's hauling This around. dude has leg legitimately everything. Everything you need to start a fire. And hard evidence. This dude has everything you need to start a fire. Holy. We should revive the APB. He's clearly armed. That's crazy. There's so much evidence in here, dude. There's so much of everything. Definitely gives him opportunity.
Hold it, Cole. There he is. It's Chapman. He's coming out of the laundromat. Shit. He's seen us. Cops. Again. Oh, shoot. Son of a bitch. He must have caught the trolley. We gotta move fast, Cole. All right. Let's go get that trolley. -er. I'll call this in. Get some cars dispatched. Car 11K calling KGPL. 11K requesting assistance in pursuit of suspect aboard the 1110 University Holy. streetcar. Currently heading east on Melrose Avenue. Advise all units. Suspect is in control of car and driving dangerously. Roger, 11K. All units, officers need assistance on Melrose Avenue. This is crazy. Stay on his ass, Cole. Don't lose him. I'm not gonna lose him. This man does not give a damn. He actually don't care. Holy. I've never met a guy with a more of a I don't give a rat's ass attitude. See if he can damage one of the wheels. Might act like a brake and slow the thing down. All right. Step on it, huh? Get me just a little closer. How? What wheels Hold does this tight, thing Cole. have? As soon as he ditches the tram, we'll be there to grab him. Look, Cole, the side plate's gone. Get me close. Yeah, there we go. End of the line, you little prick. Come on, Cole. Oh, well, got him. Looks like we have our man, Cole. Well done. I'm not so sure. Chapman seemed to have his own agenda. There seems to be more to this than a personal vendetta. What are you talking about? Buyers benefit Elysian in some way. I see Chapman and Monroe working together. You have a point. If the evidence is good for Chapman, it's hard to be worrying about his side of the story when he's blasting away with that big 45. True. Nice work, gentlemen. Put yourself at considerable risk stopping that trolley and probably saved a lot of lives. Anyone else but you, Phelps, and you'd be up for a bravery award. We've had our eyes on that slippery son of a bitch Chapman for as long as I can remember. I couldn't be happier than to wipe him off the scoreboard. And I hope this puts to bed that crazy stuff you had going about Leland Monroe. What were you thinking, Phelps? Better than you. Be calling Richard Nixon a crook next. <laughs> I mean, all the presidents are crooks somehow, right? Like every president. Damn, Colfin and Banger again. What is it? A letter from Bruce. His insurance policy named me beneficiary. California Fire and Light. You work for Elysian? The roof that he was working on collapsed. A very generous settlement. Elsa, I'd like you to do something for me. I think there's something dirty about Elysian Fields. What has that got to do with Luz? I want you to reject this settlement. I want you to go and see an investigator named Jack Kelso. And ask him to make some inquiries about Lou's case. Isn't this police work? You want to find out what happened to Lou? Why would he help Kelso? Jack won't be able to help himself if he smells a rat. He's a friend of yours? He hates my guts. Hates my Elsa, guts. If you take this money and let them get away with it, or we could get Jack's help and do something about it. Why not be honest with this man, Cole? He deserves your honesty if he wants his help. Believe me, Elsa, I'd like to level with him. I really think that it's too late. You're too late. That's crazy. Whatever happens to Cole's wife and children, is that ever, like, figured out or solved? Walk in the Legion Fields. There we go. Five star case. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are watching, enjoy. Make sure you like button. Like I said, I know these are going to be shorter episodes. But since we're coming to the ending moments of the game here, I want to give each case its own video. 
And so, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.